Hey you guys, PGD here. I am here to bring you my Black Friday 2012 haul. And as is the case with my previous hauls, because I can't do this type of haul on a tripod, I'm holding the camera. I will try my best to be as still as possible. I also have a very, very random lighting set up right now trying to make this work so you can see everything as clearly as possible. So getting started, across the top I got some soaps. The reason why I won't really talk much about this wonderful soap company right now is because um, I didn't buy this exactly on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. It came not long after, but um, it wasn't really then. Plus, I want to do an entire video on this soap company. So, but anyway, so I got soaps. Um, right here, I got two colors from Butter London. Their, if I recall, their cyber, sorry, I'm moving, their cyber Black Friday sale was nothing really. And, the, uh, but they did have a nice Cyber Monday sale. So I got these two colors, which of course will be featured as Nail of the Week products. This one is Victoriana. As you can see, it has like some little sparkly things in there. And this one is Aston. Right? And a bit of shimmer or something going on in there. Anyway, of course, you'll see those as Nail of the Week features. I then went to e.l.f. And I know I've asked um, this before in another video that followed uh, Black Friday. But please remind me if I don't remember next year Black Friday for e.l.f. Ignore their Black Friday thing and only stick with their Cyber Monday because their Cyber Monday sales far exceeded their Black Friday sale. If I recall, the Black Friday sale was something like buy one, get one half off. And then the Cyber Monday sale was everything was half off. So, yeah. But anyway, so I got some of their, you know, their lipstick things. Their liquid lipsticks. Just two of those. And I can swatch these if you guys want to see any of these. Um, I had never tried e.l.f. lipsticks. And as you know, e.l.f. products are insanely cheap anyway. But I just um, got these colors. And the light, again, is probably washing some things out. But just wanted you to see. Also got a shadow stick, which I'll swatch for you later. An eyeshadow stick from e.l.f. Um, some uh, lip stains. I got four of those. Uh, two of them are the same color. And then this one here. Okay, so some lip stains. This I'm in love with from e.l.f. Um, because I had run all out of my... Hopefully the lighting can pick up the grain so you can see that. I had run all out of lip scrub. And e.l.f. had one on sale. Look at that. So the first, and I can review this later, but the first time you put it on your lips, it may feel like lip gloss. And you're like, I was saying, this is no exfoliator. But as you rub, that top like silky layer comes off and then it's pure like sugar grains or, and it tastes good actually. <laughs> um, so that lies beneath and it really does exfoliate your lips in this in stick form. This costs, uh, I want to say three bucks. So I got that from e.l.f. Um, what else? Oh, I got a four-way nail buffer from e.l.f here nothing special and uh, this is a oh this is another soap from the company so we'll talk about that um this one right here is an elf matte lip stain and i got this okay this little stick sorry for the movement it's a stick with this little rubberized piece on top this is a shield so if you're putting on your makeup and it came in this package here just like you see on the packaging here, if you're doing your makeup, you can put this underneath your eye. Let's say you're even working with a powdery uh, eyeshadow. You want to make sure that you don't get fallout on your cheeks. You can put this under your eye and it shields a, a good amount of uh, width on your cheek. So that's great. Or you could put it above your eye when you're putting on your mascara if you don't want it to touch your lid. So I thought that was useful. I like that. And I think that was three bucks too. Uh, that was from Elf. Okay, Zoya, going up here. Um, Zoya had this thing with these dream boxes where a dream box is where Zoya has their three of their polishes packaged in what they call a dream box. And let me just open it. It has a magnetic kind of closure right here on top. You can kind of see the magnet, even though they try to cover it with their black uh, packaging. And you can kind of hear it snap. Uh, so anyway... So you kind of open it and I really thought the dream box would look much better. I knew it wasn't going to be real velvet, but on the website, it kind of looks like it's this nice velvety interior. And this is really just some sort of, I don't know, some sort of cheap material um, on top. <laughs> 
but anyway you basically insert your three polishes in here now you can get a pre-packaged Zoya dream box where they put their own three colors in there or what I did for Black Friday is I created my own dream box where I selected the three colors that I wanted to appear in the dream box. And they had the dream box being sold for some base prices, cheaper than whatever it normally goes for. And so I did that and I was able to use a discount code too. And it just comes in that outer Zoya black box, which is um, just a little paper box that this slides into and fits into. Um, they gave me for free a tiny baby, isn't this cute, nail polish remover from Zoya. I ordered the large one as well because I really like that. As you know, Zoya is teamed up with Cutica. They all seem to fall under the same umbrella. So this is the Cutica Mandarin Honey Shower Gel. They sent this to me for free. And this is an 8 ounce. So that's a full size. That's nice. Um, oh, I also got things from Inglot. Sorry if that's out of focus. And I'll definitely show you the wand and other things like that in a kind of a separate video. So I don't want this one to be too long. But I got the Volume and Waterproof Mascara. And I got the False Lash Effect Mascara. Come, This one's in a little chubby tube. Okay, I also got a series of shadows from Inglot, which again, I'll swatch for you. I then got the gel eyeliner, which I love from them. I've reviewed this in the past, but this year I just got um, 77, I think is the black. It's the one I ordered. It came with a couple of samples. That's another eyeshadow. Uh, just some little samples from them. I can show you is from Farmhouse Fresh. I really wasn't going to get anything from them until I saw that they had this new scented uh, shade body lotion um, in the flavor of punch and they said it smells like summer honestly it smells just like their whoopee one which I've had in the past which smells good but yeah so anyway this I think cost 30 bucks if I recall and the only reason I did that because farmhouse fresh did not have a sale for Black Friday or Cyber Monday but on Cyber Monday they did give you a free bath soak for free and the reason I decided to get something is mainly not really even because of this but because I wanted to try their $20 Sunday best and Sunday spelled that way because it's um a chocolate facial mask and of course um farmhouse fresh okay farmhouse fresh is paraben free and as you can see here 98% natural so I wanted to try their chocolate mask and this product was given for free this sparkling bath soak and I wanted to get this because I plan on doing more in the tub as opposed to just showers I want to get back to kind of relaxation etc etc so we'll see how that goes um, so that's what I got from farmhouse fresh now we can move into the hair which is probably why you're all here oops okay all right if you watch my last video you know what's up with the KBB but I got the luscious locks hair mask I only got four of them last video will tell you why the other thing that I need to say is that they did give me the rest of the money that they owed to me because they were unable to um, fulfill the rest of my order so I did get the, the money back and because as some of you may know there was a delay between their first email that they sent me where they were crediting my account and then the second email with the additional amount owed to me because they later told me their system was down so anyway, but it has been resolved. So anyway, I got the Luscious Locks hair mask, four of those. I then purchased the, this is the Hold It Hair Gel with Argan Oil. I've been using this, I got it in the Creamy Coco Mango scent. Smells delicious. And, and the reason I say it smells delicious is because this Creamy Coco Mango, to me, smells different than the Creamy Coco Mango of the Silky, um leave-in conditioner or other things it I don't know maybe mixed with the other ingredients here it just takes on a slightly different smell but smells even better and I also picked up uh, for the first time ever the super duper hydrating hair cream so I'll definitely review those things that I've never used before and of course I will review it without any bias It'll, it will be based completely and entirely on how the product uh, works for me this is the Karen's Body Beautiful Super Silky Leave-In Conditioner. So I got these. Um, and then I also got a new product. Well, new to me. It had come out earlier in the year. The Hair Blossom Moisture Mist. And I, I think the reason two of those at the end is because I order the Fanatic size. And the Fanatic gives you two bottles because she only sells things in kind of 8 ounce jars. So if you want Fanatic, which is 16 ounce, then she just gives you two 8 ounce bottles. 
All right, um, next up, sorry, trying to adjust that lighting there. Miss Jessie's. As you know, Miss Jessie's, every year from like Black Friday to the end of the year, she does her buy one, get one free. So I definitely got that. And if you don't want to order online, you may want to check out your local beauty supply shop or some store in your local area because many stores I've noticed have been honoring this buy one, get one free sale from Miss Jessie's. I saw it in CVS being honored as well as just a regular beauty supply store. So check it out. So I got those from Miss Jessie's. And I, yeah, my, my sister had, um, I gave her some and then I have in the bathroom. So that accounts for the rest, but pretty much that's, that's it. Uh, and then, oops, sorry, got a stand. I got the super sweet back treatment. So again, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one free. Also got the, from Miss Jessie still. The Pillow Soft Curls. The last time I spoke to you about this product, I had only used a little sample thing that you can get from the website. So I went to get the full size one, especially during the buy one, get one free. And uh, my sister has another one of this and she'll get this one too. But yeah, so another buy one, get one free of that. Um, let's see. Oh, this was Miss, um, not Miss, uh, Christine Grant, Brown Butter Beauty, her Babasu Butter Love Deep Conditioner. I really don't know why I only picked up one, but I did. Should have gotten more of that, but anyway. Um, and also, she's now selling 100% pure maracuja oil. Now, the thing about this is when I went to her site, I saw that the maracuja oil was sold out. I was devastated, but as soon as Black Friday hit, it was shown that it was uh, back in stock. So I was really happy. So I got that. As you may know, Tarte sells maracuja oil as well, but theirs is like 49 bucks for 1.7 ounces, and this was... I don't remember the exact price, but it worked out that even if I got two bottles of this, it would be, because I think she sold hers for 25 so it would be more product for less money um, if I were to go this route. But I just want to try this on its own first and see how it works. This is just a one ounce jar. All right. Yeah. And then also I got from Brown Butter Beauty, you know, I love this. I reviewed it in the past, the Herbal Rich Hair Tea Bags. So those are great. So I just got couple of those then over here we have from curl junkie the hibiscus and banana deep fix I got two of these now I really I really love that product I should have gotten more but I think no I remember what happened hairagain.com also sells this product from curl junkie they had a 30% sale where I believe curl junkie had a 25% sale so I was planning on going to get more from hairagain.com but by the time I made it over there, I believe they were sold out of that product. So anyway, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. You gotta be fast. And I had my list. My list was made out literally well over a month in advance of some of the things I wanted to get. And still, some things were sold out. Um, also from Curl Junkie, I got the Curl Rehab product. Now, instead of buying... So what I was planning on doing with the Curl Rehab is getting about eight of these from Harrogant.com. But... I ended up getting it from Curl Junkie because Harrogant.com does not sell the 32 ounce. So I got two 32 ounces from Curl Junkie even though it was at the 25% discount um, instead of 30% as Harrogant had. But Harrogant again doesn't have this product so I would have had to have purchased the 8 ounce from them. Anyway the difference in price ended up being something like $15 I was saving if I just went ahead and got the two 32 ounce bottles from Curl Junkie. So that's what I did. So I got it in the coconut gardenia scent because they no longer had the strawberry ice cream scent. So I did that. Also got from Curl Junkie the Repair Me, which I don't believe I reviewed, but I really like this stuff. Something new from Curl Junkie, new for me, is the Curl Fix Intensive Hair Treatment. You'll definitely see a review on that. Got from she sent it the banana brulee moisturizing conditioner i got two of those in the big size and then i also got what she had listed as new on her site and i don't know exactly when this came out but as of black friday it still said new this is her moisture mask so i got two of those it only came in one size so i got two and then also i got the uh, let's see right here the exotic Amazon herbal pomade which to me is a different consistency than when I had tried it in the past and I didn't try a full size in the past I tried her um, what did, a sample size you know how you can buy the samples from her site the sample that I tried was much more like a pomade because it was heavier uh, a bit thicker this is um, lighter 
boy when I tell you I really don't care either way it smells beyond delicious I love using this in my hair as you can see from this big indentation right here I've been using it I went the other day to try and buy more but her shop is closed until the new year so that will have to wait. I think I actually prefer this lighter consistency much more than the thicker one. The thicker one was fine because I was using it kind of on edges and things like that as a pomade. But this with this lighter consistency, it allows me to use it much more like a, a, a grease, like a hairdressing. And it's great. I love it. And again, it smells fabulous. And it's only 10 bucks for how many ounces? I think four, five, five ounces. Okay. Next up, I'll do this just because it's close to me right now. From Hair Vader, I got the Acai Berry Conditioner, two of them. I also got the Amla uh, Deep Cleanse product. Uh, I don't think I realized it was the small bottle or I definitely would have gotten two. Another thing I got from uh, Hair Veda is the Almond Glaze. I've definitely used this in the past. It's it's pretty much like a hair grease. It smells delicious and I missed it, so I, I ordered that. Something new that I had never purchased from them before from Hair Veda and I have it open because I want to show you the consistency even though this is not a review but I just want to show you that. Um, Hair Veda Dry Hair Solutions. This is the Nourishing Stronger Hold Frizz Control Hair Souffle. Now when they say stronger hold you know stronger relative to what I'm not sure but the consistency wasn't exactly what I was expecting when you say something is going to make your hair or you know hold stronger hold. I don't know this is more like a pudding it's not sticky at all more more like a pudding is what it feels like it smells delicious really it smells like a, a peach almost so I really like the scent of this product though I may not say that it's a hair gel it does give you some hold but it and again why am I reviewing it right now but anyway it's not um, it's not necessarily a hair gel but it can be used on your hair for other things so we'll we'll talk about that when review time comes around so that's I also got the Batika frosting, two of those from Hair Veda. Now over here we're at Afro Veda. And in my uh, Black Friday Get This Not That video, I did review this. So I got four of them. This is the Afro Veda Foundation uh, Pumpkin and Pomegranate Herbal Hair Shampoo. So again, for those. Um, they gave me for free, and this is a really nice sample size, the Coco Latte Hair Butter Cream. Now, I had purchased this in the past, the full size, so I've used this before, but um, that's a nice sample size that they gave me. I also ordered from Afroveda this um, Moringa Supreme Detangling Spray Ginseng. So I got, it looks like milk, right? So I got that. First time ever. I haven't smelled or anything that actually arrived today. I also got this hair cleansing cream, Manoy, and I like the Manoy line from Carol's Daughter, so hopefully I have great effects with that as well, or a great experience with that one as well. Uh, making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, My Honey Child. Love My Honey Child. Um, let me tell you what happened. Their basket, and I'm sorry if the lighting is not picking this up so well here, but this is kind of the best I can do at this angle but the Maya Honey Child I got the honey hair mask and I also got the uh, coconut papaya hair paste now this year her basket uh, she was doing a buy one eight ounce and get the other one free but her cart worked in a slightly different way than it had worked last year so I had a message in the comment box to her as I placed my order and she responded via email and basically said oh the cart kind of works this way and she explained that she could cancel my order and then allow me to place the order again so that I could get more product but I just said you know it's it's fine don't worry about it let's just keep it as is and what she ended up doing was sending me for free an additional product so I sent her an email and I, I you know because I didn't pay for it so I said I have an additional thing here I don't know if that was intentional if so thank you very much you know etc etc and um you know, but if this was not intended to be sent to me, just, you know, let me know. I have no problem sending back their stuff. Um, okay, but anyway, so she said, um, oh, no, it was intentional. You know, and then she said something else. And then she said, uh, kindness, pay it forward. So I thought that was really nice. So thanks, Karika. Not that she watches my videos, but... Anyway, I thought that was very kind of her because she knew I was clearly lost with um, the cart. <laughs> so that was that. Then I went to Darcy's Botanicals and for free I got the 
um, sweet cocoa bean sorry I can't read through the camera sweet cocoa bean curl smoothing cream and I've received a sample of this in the past but this is a much larger sample than I've ever received um, this right here I got two of the daily cleansing uh, conditioner creams so for people who like co-washes um, that's a nice thing so I got two of those uh, of course sulfate free etc etc I love that why I've, I've been saying etc etc but anyway so sulfate free I got the large jars of that I also got two of the juicy peach leave-in conditioners the big size love that I got five of the uh, deep conditioners from her you know I love that I also got the the natural coils curling jelly now I had purchased this in the past but my sister was the one who was natural at the time and I'm pretty sure I gave it to her I don't remember what she thought of it but um that went to her I also but now this one is for me and I also have the sweet cocoa bean moisturizing hair whip I got two of those she had it listed as new one thing I really love is that it seems like every Black Friday she releases a new product so I really enjoy that also got from her what is this the pumpkin seed uh, conditioner and I like that one too I've reviewed that one in the past um oh yeah and and Jolique. Now, Jolique, they did a couple of things. Now that I think about it, I think I got some of these with their half-off sale, which is something different. And again, those will be done during the nail of the week and different swatches, etc., etc. But then during Black Friday, I remember specifically, they had this sale, like buy two, and then you can pick a free gift. Or it was spend $20 and you can get a free gift. And I had purchased these two, and I thought, oh, maybe the gifts are going to be garbage. But they were not. It was like uh, two polishes which the two that I got for free these two these two yeah and this one is quite deceitful because it doesn't apply the way it looks here it's actually a really nice color it looks much better kind of the thing that I definitely have to mention to you is today is December 17th and your leak if you go on their website and hopefully it's not sold out they are doing the biggest mystery box that they've ever done so they will send you if you pay $19 and there's no shipping till the end of the month through your leak but if you today December 17th buy their mystery box for $19 you will be shipped a box that will contain Jolique products I don't work for Jolique I'm just telling you because I got mine I didn't get it in the mail yet but I mean I purchased it today here's what it is just by purchasing the mystery box you'll be entered to win an iPad mini so that's nice but even if you don't win that your mystery box which you're paying $19 for will contain a minimum of at least $100 worth of product but up to $500 worth of product plus you would be entered to win the iPad mini so you could be getting everyone who purchases the box will get $100 worth of product but you could also get up to $500 worth of product so you may get a box that has $250 worth of product or 300 or one but you know either way paying 19 bucks to me was fine the worst case scenario is that I would get products that or colors that are disgusting and that wouldn't be good but you know still I could give it away and do other things or I could get colors that I already have sitting right here in which case I could still give them away or do something so anyway that could still work out um so I'm gonna pan out and show you oh first I need to show you also sorry I got this con air blow dry I got this from hot look and it was I forgot like 30 something bucks it comes with a diffuser and a concentrator it has cool uh, as a setting it has high low it has this retractable cord at the bottom so I got that too so anyway here is um, Black Friday 2012 from back there da -da 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 -da. and this is really all I did this year uh, but again concentrating on things that I know pretty much work for me I did re um, this is my phone. I definitely feel free to leave your Black Friday haul as a response to this video because I'd love to see what all of you purchased or you can write it in the description box below. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Uh, Black Friday. <laughs> Bye. How could I forget to tell you this is not a part of Black Friday but I got this from um, Beauty. I got this from BeautySage.com. I saw a YouTuber, You Love Megs, she reviewed this and also um, Start to Finish MUA. You can see both videos on both channels, they reviewed this so I went out and got this because I saw the results. It's called Baby Foot and basically you take your feet, you put it in the plastic bags that are provided, like so, 
these plastic bags have all of these natural ingredients right here meadow sweet soap wart sage different herbs and other things you put it in this bag for one hour let it sit after the hour you wash your feet off with soap over the next two to seven days so let's say your foot the bottom of your foot looks something like this right or you have some sort of hardened dead skin around your toes etc it looks like this after the next two to seven days or uh, across the next two to seven days the skin on its own will peel off of your foot and it would look like this the foot of a baby at the end of that whole seven day period some people may have longer peeling Cost 25 bucks and you just get one set like one application in here for your feet probably should have put this in a what's new this week video but i want to get this on my feet tonight so um i'll talk to you soon thanks for watching bye